Now let's learn how to use the group header template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template styles the header when using a group by view in SharePoint. If you're not familiar with that, this is when you go to the view settings and if you go towards the bottom of the options, there is an area for group by. And if you have that turned on, it will create accordion sections that can expand and collapse for your view. If you have that enabled, then you can take advantage of this template. Normally, you can't control how those look. The, there's a standard uh, way these appear. You can expand and collapse, uh, but in terms of how those headers look, uh, you just have to take what you get. This template allows you to take control of that and let it look however you want. So in the preview window, you can first check out some theme options just to get some ideas. And to cover some of the things that you can change, you can optionally show an icon at the beginning of the header just to have something eye-catching. You can control the total count in the group. You can decide whether you want that to appear at the beginning or the end. Um, or you can just have it not display at all. And then you can optionally decide whether you want to show a label for the field that you're grouping by, um, as well as many different color options, uh, border, uh, shadow behind, font size, etc. So lots of different options to let you adjust the look of those headers. I'm going to go ahead and use this second theme option and I am ready to go. I just need to click on copy template and then I'm going to click on the OK box after I've read my instructions. And now I can come back over to SharePoint and I'm going to click on the view selector and then I need to select format current view then click on advanced mode. In that window you just paste in the code and hit save. And just as we saw in the preview, I can see that uh, showing up in SharePoint. Now there's some special options here. You may want to suppress the standard column headers, and you also may not want this uh, selection row to be visible if you want to clean up the view a little bit. And there are options to make that hidden. So, these options for so show selection and show header can be adjusted to suppress that part of the layout. So let's go ahead and take a look at the difference there. So if I come back over here, there, you'll notice the top's gone and the side's gone. So um, this is just a way to clean things up. Now this template is nice in a situation where you may want to do an FAQ or some kind of informational page um, to make it look nice. And what you can additionally do is use column templates in addition to this to control the formatting on the columns to make it look even nicer. And that's all there is to it. This is a really easy to use template which will allow you to style the group headers in your SharePoint list. You can find this template at SharePointDashboards.com if you do not yet have a sign up for this, you can sign up to get access to 20 free templates. And then if you end up subscribing, you can get access to this template as well as more than 120 total templates to let you do all kinds of cool formatting in your SharePoint list. Good luck.